And here we have it. Um, this would be the, the basic overview of reproduction for a virus. Um, there's a bunch of what we will find out is every single virus has a different mechanism for exactly how it goes through all the steps of making more of itself. But one thing they all have in common is these viruses need to have a host cell. So we have this host cell down here. Viruses can't reproduce on their own, but once they're in a host, they can basically make the host uh, a virus-making machine is what they'll do. So they'll turn this host cell into a virus-making machine. So the general plan is somehow the viral DNA has to get into the, uh, into the host. Okay? Um, sometimes the complete virus goes into the host, and then the DNA comes out of the, of the virus. Um, other times the capsid stays on the outside, and the DNA or um, the, whatever the nucleic acid is will enter the host. Once that nucleic acid is inside the host, it's basically going to take over the host. Um, most of the time it will destroy, sorry, oftentimes it will destroy destroy the host DNA, and then it'll use the host's machinery to make copies of its own DNA. Okay, so we're making a bunch of copies of its own DNA. And then also to do transcription and translation to make all of its proteins, those capsimeres, the little building blocks. Um, it's going to make a bunch of those. So we have entered the cell. We have copied or replicated our DNA. We have done transcription and translation to make our proteins, and then we're going to assemble all of that into a new virus. Assemble all that into a new virus. Um, once we've assembled new viruses, somehow those assembled viruses get released. Okay, so again, we enter the cell, we make new nucleic acids, we make new proteins, we assemble them into new viruses, and then somehow we release the viruses. So um, we're going to get to some more specifics um, on this, but that was the general overview of, uh, of a virus replication cycle.